fear this new challenge. Rather, like a true warrior, I will rise to meet it. What's up, Deep Prof Nation? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna talk about what I think would have happened if the Z Fighters had taken Cell to the Tournament of Power instead of Frieza. Now, before we get started, I just wanna say that I think that what actually happened during the Tournament of Power was really, really cool. I think that the synergy that Goku and Frieza had was awesome. I think the little, like, shyster stuff that Frieza pulled was also great. But I think that it could have been a little bit different and maybe even a little bit better if Cell had been there for a couple of different characters than who got showcased. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why. So first, we're gonna look at why Cell would have been the better replacement, in my opinion. Now, they were going to take Majin Buu along because Majin Buu was very tough, right? Like, he was really hard to put down, really hard to kill. Um, he had a bunch of weird powers that could have been really useful and he put all of the Z Fighters through a whole lot when it came time to fight him and put him down. So, let's look at Cell. Cell blew himself up and came back from it. He was able to, you know, get half of his upper body blown off and grow it back in a matter of seconds. And there's no saying that if he absorbed somebody else, that he wouldn't be able to use their abilities and therefore kind of capitalize on some of the weird stuff that other people were able to do. Something else, and, and this is something that I'm not entirely sure about, is that we know that Cell has like those bug wings on his back, but we don't know if those would have allowed him to fly in the world of the void. If it did, that would have been an advantage that he had, which would have been pretty cool. So let's break down Cell real quick. We know that Cell is incredibly powerful. He forced Gohan to go Super Saiyan 2 back in the Cell Saga, in order to be beaten in general. We know that he's got a little bit of that Vegeta syndrome in him where he needs to fight someone at their best so that he can completely and utterly destroy them. We also know that he has Frieza cells, Goku cells, a whole bunch of different fighter cells within him. So, so while Frieza brought a lot to the table, in theory, Cell could bring those same things forward too. Uh, no one knows what would happen if Cell were to start training and start focusing on getting stronger instead of being focused on being perfect. Frieza trained for like, I don't know, a couple months and got incredibly strong, developed his new form, was able to move forward and compete with Goku at Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. What would have happened if Cell had done the same thing? If Cell, while he was in Hell, because we know that he's in Hell and we know that he has a physical body there, so we know that he's capable of training. If he were to train, what could he have gotten up to? Could he have gotten as strong as, if not stronger than Cell? Would he have been able to surpass the Z Fighters? We don't really know. Let's think about this. Let's say that Cell trained and got incredibly strong and was able to make himself known to Goku as he was looking for an alternative for Majin Buu. They bring Cell to the Tournament of Power. Cell looks around and says, there are definitely some people out here that are outclassing me, but that's okay, I've got some plans. Cell literally could have stepped in front of every single blast that was coming at somebody else, took it to the face, gotten blown up, at least mostly, put himself back together and come back stronger. You know that Zenkai boosts have kind of tapered off for the Z Fighters, but we know that Cell was subject to one Zenkai boost when he blew himself up and came back stronger than Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, at least at a base level. So who's to say that he doesn't have some cheap power-ups left? Am I right? Now let's look at the advantages and the things that he brings. He knows every single Z Fighter's techniques and moves. He can do the special beam cannon, he can Kamehameha like the best of them, he can probably final flash if he really wanted to. What does this actually mean though? This means, in theory, that he could fight flawlessly with any of the Z fighters to put together an edge. 
Goku and Frieza fought seamlessly side by side, and Jiren wasn't able to really deal with that. Vegeta and Goku fought side by side, and because they weren't in perfect sync, at least according to the anime, that put Jiren off balance because he was only used to perfectly coordinated attacks. So if Cell is able to just start around and coordinate with anybody that's fighting Jiren, who knows what would have happened. There's also the possibility that Cell could absorb people still. Uh, we don't know... We know that he's still got the nub for his tail on his back. We don't know if he can extend that to absorb people. We know that he can make Cell Juniors, and there's no rules in the Tournament of Power against doing so. Those Cell Juniors were all pretty strong, too. It could have immediately given the advantage to Universe 7. Plus, if you have a few Cell Juniors hiding out, those are technically fighters for Universe 7, which means that if everybody else gets taken out and those Cell Juniors are able to hide, they still win because they have more fighters on the field. Just, again, another reason why Cell would have been a better choice. Now, just to circle back, if Cell can still absorb people and they don't die when he absorbs them, that means in theory, that he could absorb a bunch of the different fighters. He could have, possibly could have even absorbed all of those different androids that came from that other universe, because they ha did have a biological component when they fused with the Doctor. So that could have been something else that came about, something that could have given Cell more power, different abilities, a bunch of things that people didn't expect. What do you guys think? Do you want, like, a fight by fight, what would have happened if Cell was there? kind of an analysis from me. Do you guys want to hear that kind of stuff? Let me know down in the comments if I have a whole bunch of like, yeah, please talk about this more. I'll make more of these videos. If not, then that's cool and thank you for watching anyway. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so that you never miss a new video, you never miss a live stream, those kinds of things. I appreciate you all hanging out and listening to me ramble. Stay awesome. Be great, and we'll see you in the next one.